There was another blind Funko Shop drop, and it was pretty awesome. Let's talk about it. Lately, Funko.com has been doing a lot of blind drops, and this has actually been pretty awesome because regular collectors can actually obtain the Funko Pops that drop on the website. It used to be that bots would eat up everything, or at least people would complain that bots ate up everything. This Funko Pop specifically was sort of a curveball. Nobody expected this Funko Pop. No, it's not been leaked at all. No. That, that I know of at least. I mean, I don't pay attention to anime leaks so much, but I had no idea this, this was coming and it seemed like the general consensus had no idea either. Guys, make sure you head over to Facebook right now and join Castlecast. We hunt together. It's a great group full of great people talking all things collectible. Head over to Facebook now and join today. So today's Funko Shop drop was the Super Saiyan Gohan with sunglasses. And believe it or not, it was the very first Dragon Ball Funko Pop to come from Funko Shop. It's the first Dragon Ball Pop to have a Funko Shop sticker. How awesome is that? And you have to add the fact that it's the very first one to have the Funko Shop sticker because we have had convention stuff on Funko's website that are Dragon Ball Z. Good call, Heather. Yeah, I already stopped you in the comments. I know you were getting ready. You say we don't know anything about anime. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we, we don't. But we do know that that's the first Funko Shop exclusive. So. We know that at least. That's cool. <laughs> so this Funko Pop is really cool. Although we're not into anime, we don't really care for Dragon Ball. I think the pop looks really good. I like the colors. I like the character because I do know a little bit about Dragon Ball. I'm not trying to be like, you know, big man on campus or anything. But I know a little bit about Dragon Ball Z. So you're talking about being a big man on campus, but like, wouldn't a big man on campus know everything about everything? No, I was just pointing out the fact that I'm overweight. Oh. I am not into anime at all. Love anime Funko Pops. I think they do an incredible job. I love the different hairstyles, all the bright colors. Well, today's Funko Pop Heather would be right up your alley because the Super Saiyan Gohan looks great. He has the hairstyle. He's wearing sunglasses. I like sunglasses. Very similar to the Squirtle with sunglasses. Remember him? Huh? Squirtle from Pokemon. Oh, I thought you said squirrel with sunglasses. Oh, no, 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 not a squirrel with sunglasses, no. So Funko has been doing a lot of blind drops lately on Funko Shop, and I think this is to thwart bots and to slow down a bunch of people on their website, which leads to crashing it. Yeah, I'm sort of liking these mystery drops, but I have some beef. Seriously, you have to break out the steak R2-D2 for this? What, you don't like it? I think it's a good joke. Is this getting old? Funko didn't send the email until about 12.30 Eastern. Now remember, this went up around 12 Eastern. So that's 30 minutes later. It did stay up until about 2.45 or so. So that's great, right? If this were some like major, crazy, limited, sought after whatever Funko Pop and it sold out at 12.29 and I didn't get the email until 12.30, I would be pissed. Absolutely. And that is what leads into our comments that we have here that I've been collecting. But first, we want to talk about our new partnership with Collector Zone. Collector Zone is an awesome store, both online and brick and mortar. You can go over to Collector Zone and find all sorts of things to include hot toys, some of our favorites, and sideshow statues, and even Iron Studio statues. They've got all sorts of really cool things and you totally need to go and check them out. In fact, Marcos from Collector Zone is working with us to help us reach 5K by putting up a Hot Toys for a giveaway. So you're gonna wanna follow all the steps on this picture that we're showing you right now in order to enter and win. That Captain Marvel Hot Toys is pretty awesome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love that figure so much so that I actually own it. We're gonna do an unboxing video in the near future and we're gonna tell you a whole lot more about Collector Zone. But until then, go and make sure you follow all of the six different things you need to do to win. Heather, the first comment I wanna start off with is sold out damn bots. I think this person is one of those folks who didn't get the email in time and who found that the Gohan was up on the website way too late in the day. Oh, that's really sad. And then there's another comment saying sort of the same thing. Sold out instantly. Any Shopify site bots are ran and stock gets destroyed within seconds. I wonder if some of these are like sarcastic. 
Ooh, maybe? I love it. So many people blaming the bots. Shake my head. And then we have a couple people who wish they bought it, but they missed out. Like this guy says, had it in my cart, and I thought to myself, do I need him with sunglasses? Nope. I let this one slide. I may regret it. Sounds like he's having a little mo. A little mo? Well, he made the decision to not get it, right? But now he's upset that it's sold out, and mm. he's having the feeling that he needs to rush out and get it, right? Mm, okay. So he's not having FOMO, which is a fear of missing out. He's having Mo. He's missing out because he's stupid and decided not to get it. Whoa, that's harsh. Okay, were well, you ready to say the same thing about another guy? Because this guy says it lasted for a while. Thought, eh, I'll try later because I'm at work and shit. Thinking I'll come back later since the bots and so forth didn't buy it all up immediately. I was wrong. I can understand if it's like an emergency situation and like he really is like knees deep into a surgery or something, right? Oh my God, this guy's a surgeon? I don't know. But if he if he has like another job, like an everyday job where things aren't as urgent, take a poop break. <laughs> That's a good point. That's what I would do. Excuse me for a moment. I, I really need to go to the bathroom. Right I'm, now? I'm going to set my scissors down and stop cutting your hair, and I'm going to use the bathroom. Had a coffee before I came in. Did you do that when you were a hairstylist? For Funko Drops? Hell yeah. And then we have another person saying, I never get alerts anymore for these, and that's true. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, people aren't getting alerts by Funko Mail. I, I don't know what's going on with it. It seems to be really slow. I don't know if Funko is doing that on purpose to maybe offset how many people are going on their website. If that's what they're doing, that's pretty brilliant. It seems like Funko has a pattern now. They're dropping Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? Right around the same time, Right. it seems. Once the bots figure that out, they're gonna start looking at the website during that time. Yeah, that's right. Okay? I don't know exactly how bots work. I don't know if they have to search a keyword, so that's why like the, the actual pictures and everything meant so much before, because say Gohan was coming up, do they type in Gohan in their bot? And then- yeah, I, don't, I don't know how any of that works, but I would suggest they put it on the website and the website site sees what new items are popping up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but have no idea. But if that were the case, wouldn't bots have gone after this guy? Yeah, I, I, have no, I have no idea. Or Funko is doing something to the URL so it like fools the bots. Maybe they're doing some smart stuff and that's why it's not happening. Because it is interesting that these things aren't selling out in a flash when they go up. I could have made a flash joke if it was a flash Funko pop that went up, but it was Gohan. So I can't. I would have said, oh, like if a flash went up today, for example, I would say, oh, it really did sell out in a Flash. Okay, now I have beef. <laughs> so that's blind drops for you. And in fact, I got to be honest, I like blind drops. I think it's great. Um, it was easy getting the Loki on Friday for me because it popped up and I just happened to see it. Uh, and additionally, Gohan today, it seemed like a lot of fans were able to obtain it. You didn't see a lot of people complaining. And when you don't see a lot of people complaining about it, that's a good sign. That means Funko is doing something right. That or the fan base is completely dead. Hmm. I love Funko. I think it's great. It's one of my favorite things to talk crap about. <laughs> <laughs> Some beef with Funko? Absolutely not. I love Funko. Funko has brought so much happiness to me Can during the pandemic. Really quick. I love Funko. I've said that many, many times. I love Funko, but I love talking a whole lot of crap every once in a while because that's fun. So I've said time and time again, I think the blind drops are great. It's only going to be great until I miss out on something I really want. And it looks like Quicksilver is right around the corner in March. So we'll know if I really like these types of drops then because if I don't get it, I'm gonna be pretty bummed out. Would you say that Funko will have some splaining to do? I will say I'm gonna totally have beef. Guys, what did you think about the blind drop today? And did you like that Gohan? What do you think about my beef jokes? Should I keep them going? Let us know all of that and more in the comments section down below. Are you looking for a special Funko Pop, Funko Soda, or maybe even some mystery minis? Head over to poppinofftoys.com. They have all the Funko products you're looking for. Head over to poppinofftoys.com today. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.